Hello, welcome to my review of Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, just a quick trigger warning, if you are sensitive to things like real animal death, rape, sexual abuse, wisdom, and pretty much anything terrible, you're gonna want to find another video. Um, so I'm just gonna get in. Let's go. The film starts with the news reporting on a small group of people that had gone missing into the jungle near a tribe of hungry man-eating cannibals. This professor decides that he is going to find them, and he and a few others, including a lost tribe member, make the long trek towards the tribe. They walk for some time before stumbling upon a man who is performing uh, uh, a ritual where he takes a stone and proceeds to make a baby with a lady until she dies, as it is used as a... It is a result of adultery in their tribes, I suppose. Um, so they follow this random native guy back to his uh, camp, and um, they find all of the native people, and they're all, you know, they're scared, they haven't seen anything. So this one guy just. <laughs> he just goes into the water, splashes, and everyone is cool with them. Then they lead him to their actual village, and the professor and his group teach them a really cool knife trick, so all of the people in the tribes like him. They find the bodies of the group before them, so they decide to get the hell out of there, but they manage to find the old camera left behind and after looking at the footage, it turns out that the group was a bunch of assholes that would piss off the tribesmen and kill innocent animals for fun. The professor gets interviews from the crew's family, but that's not really important. Next, the footage. So to basically sum it up, um, the old group was walking in the jungle until some dude gets killed by a snake. They brutally beat up a total. They brutally beat up an entire camp and burn down all of their houses and huts. I don't know the actual name for it, so forgive me. Um, so, of course, all the tribesmen are very angry because their women had been raped and murdered and their food had been taken by these people who they had never met before. So, yeah, not good. Towards the end of the film... Uh, the group, the old group, they each get what's coming to them. The one dude gets his balls and penis ripped off, which is just... You get to see it, too. It's not shy about that. Um, the girl is raped by the tribesmen. Um, the West are turned into dinner. <laughs> After the professor looks through the footage, he decides to burn the footage, and that's the end of the film. Um, I did leave a lot out because I suggest watching this as it's an experience unlike many other movies. Um, it's very similar to The Green Inferno, which I'm pretty sure Cannibal Holocaust um, was like an inspiration for The Green Inferno. Actually, I have both of them on my wall because I've seen both films before and I like them. Um, but I'm going to talk about the movie itself. So let's get on to that. There's no actual transition. I'm just gonna... Um, I did like this movie. I like the idea of found footage. I'm not typically a found footage person, but I liked it. Um, I like that it was found by the second group. And how the OG group was... harassing and... Calming the natives. I thought that was really creative. I thought that was a really unique idea, especially for something like this in film that we haven't seen much before. Um, the pacing is a little slow at the start and towards the middle, um, but it does pick up towards the end. Um, the gore felt real, especially if you may already know, some of it is real. Um, actually, fun fact, the creator was not arrested but was almost arrested because the people who watched the movie thought the blood looked so weird that they like 
almost got in trouble, all of the actors had to come out and say that they were alive. Because so many people thought the movie was real. Which, I mean, yeah, the gore is pretty spot on. All of the fake gore, the not real stuff, like, no person is harmed in the movie. Actually, but animals will, unfortunately. And if you don't know me, this really holds. I'm a huge animal rights activist, and nowadays I am much happier that we have industry standards that make people use fake or already dead animals in films rather than killing an animal on set. Um, something I just wanted to point out was the music sounds a lot like David Cronenberg. Like, if, if you recognize his music style, you can totally hear it in this film. Um, this movie isn't great in terms of acting. Some of the lines seemed a little too on the nose and forth. But there were all some times when I'm like, wow, this feels like an actual interaction. I did love the jungle and the sets of nature. The cinematography was spot on. Um, I loved all the colors and the trees. I love movies that take place outside, if you couldn't tell. Um, I'd rate this a solid 7.5 out of 10. There was a lot that I liked and there was some that I didn't. I'd recommend it if you like disturbing films or goy films, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're just a casual watcher, as there was a lot to it that would make it a very uncomfortable watch, especially if you have no experience in watching disturbing films. So that was my review. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.